What's going on you guys? In today's video I went turkey hunting and mushroom hunting. I found some morels and I killed my first good time in, out of all the years that I've been turkey hunting. Um, I'm pretty pumped about that and you'll be able to tell by the video. Uh, I'm going to put some subtitles in because the audio is a little sketchy so bear with me. I'm still doing everything off my phone. But I hope you guys enjoy the video because I sure did making it. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You might as well right now. <laughs> and if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button at the end and leave a comment. Thanks a bunch. Hope you guys enjoy. Good morning. Today is Friday, May 11th. We are on our way out to go turkey hunting. Uh, finally got up on time today at the store. My stomach's killing me. I had to run in and grab some extra napkins. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, uh, we're gonna go see if we can't get on some birds. Hopefully they're roosted in our woods tonight, uh, or last night. Um, it's gonna be a cold morning, so, uh, hopefully we can get it done right off the bat. You know, get out there, set up the decoys and stuff, and then they fly down from the roost right into the setup. Boom, bang. I'm out of there, because I gotta fix the Jeep this morning. Got to throw a couple of wheel bearings in it, but stay tuned. We're going to see if we can't kill a turkey today. Thanks for watching.
I'll get this set another hour or so, hour and a half, to see if they'll work back this way, but I don't think they will. Smoke them, baby! Yeah! Shit! Woo! Oh. Oh. Can't stop the fall. Are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Oh my god! Oh, that was so awesome! Oh! Oh, yes! 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 He saw B-Mobile and he came running. He shot up. He shot up. As soon as he seen B-Mobile. Oh, he was on a mission, baby. Oh, Dustin! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
What a hunt. Man. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, what a hunt! Gorgeous bird, man. I thought today, I thought today wasn't gonna work out for me. I can't, I can't believe how it went down. The birds flew down. They were on the neighbor's property. Dude's got a paintbrush on him. They run a neighbor's property. He looks like a good, I don't know, maybe three year old, two year old is what I'm guessing from the Spurs, but he's got a nice paintbrush on him. Whew. Okay, Spurs. They flew down, they were on the neighbor's property, and I heard them go the other way, and there was five of them. So, I was in the blind at first, a couple hundred yards that way, but I thought, man, I gotta get closer to those birds. They were right over there. So I got out of the blind, and I ran down to the front of the property a good 300 yards, and set up over here, and after they flew down, they went the other way into the woods. Um... Then about 30 minutes later, I heard him back out in that field, and this guy hit me back about three times, and then he shut up, and I said, well, he knows where I'm at. I ain't going to call him no more, because in my six years that I've, six or seven, shoot, it's longer than that, eight years that I've been turkey hunting, I've had multiple times where I've overcalled a bird and scared him off, so I'm really leery about that now, but I shut up. And then all of a sudden I seen some movement coming into the woods. And here he come. <laughs> I he seen that B Mobile and he was on a mission. He he was ready to scrap. I was able to turn turn and get my gun on him and uh just in time. As soon as he crossed the property line, he was probably five yards over it. I dusted him at like thirty two yards, so I couldn't be more happy. I am pumped, man. And he's a heavy bird too. I give him 22, 23 pounds all day. Gorgeous. Tail feathers look pretty good. Wow, that was awesome. I want to thank you guys for sharing this with me and being so patient with my videos. So, uh, you know, it's really tough doing everything on my phone, but today I was able to capture it, and I can't be more, 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 more happy. Thanks again for watching, guys. This was awesome. the important part. Already got her notch. Seriously can't beat it. No better feeling. <laughs> An awesome hunt this morning. I was beginning to think it wasn't going to work out for me on the small property, but it sure did. Worked out real good. <laughs> oh, thanks again for watching, guys. This was this was awesome. I'm glad. I'm really glad I could share this with you. So we're having an awesome morning. Um, killed a turkey this morning before 7 a.m. So I figured what what can make it a better day. Well, before I got to change the wheel bearing, I'll go look for some mushrooms real quick. So I'm not sure. I've checked this spot about four times and they haven't popped yet. But I got my fingers crossed that the big whites are up. So let's see if we can find some. Uh, 
Looks like we found a couple. There's another one right over there. I've checked this spot a couple of times. Wow, it's still just a little black. Hmm. And the biggest thing that I find morels at, these guys right here. It's an old dead elm. There's another one right behind it right there. That is where I find my most morels. I also find them around apple trees and white pines. But the dead elms is where I always have good luck. Another one hiding on me. We'll have a, enough of a little mess of them that Melissa and I can have a snack with dinner. I don't know if today can get any better. <laughs> Unless I find a bunch more. <laughs> that That's the only way today can get better for me. This dude was hiding on me. He's a pretty good sized one. Okay, so... I didn't have my mushroom bag on me, but I'm putting them in my hat. My hats have holes in it. It's a trucker hat, so... The spores can fall out. I really didn't expect to find anything, so I didn't bring my bag with me. But, we're finding them. And most avid morel hunters know that you want something that the spores can drop out of. Um, you don't want a plastic bag or nothing. And another thing you want to do is always have a sharp knife with you. If you don't have a sharp knife, you can pinch them off. But you always want to leave the root system in the ground. You never want to pull it. See that cut? Fresh cut. Fresh roots. Always leave those in the ground. Because you want them to pop up next year. Keep looking. After those rainy days, we'd have some popping. I ain't finding a whole bunch, but I'm finding a few. And they're just the little guys. But we might have enough to have a snack with dinner tonight. Man, I was starting to get discouraged. But I don't think the big ones are up yet, so I'm not too discouraged anymore. Let's keep finding them. Snack time. So we killed a turkey by seven, found about a dozen mushrooms by eight, and I'm going to get started working on these wheel bearings by nine. So it's been an awesome day, and uh, I want to thank you guys for sharing this with me. Um, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, thanks again for watching.